Hey, welcome back to Now You See Me. That's the title of a movie. And I'm really not going to show a film clip because when I show a film clip, the video gets partially blocked and I have no idea exactly what that means. Um, so I'm going to just show you uh, kind of a decisive moment in this film and this is where the four horsemen all come together in Central Park in New York City with their magic cards and they want to know if they've been inducted into the cult called the Eye. Now I tried to explore this concept of the mystery religions and gnosis or knowledge hidden but revealed to those who are in the cult. So when the movie is ready to conclude the four put their cards together and they realize that they are inducted into and initiated into this higher level cult called the I. And the one who's orchestrated all these events in the movie is Dylan, who's an FBI agent. But really, he's the son of Lionel Shrike. So, who was Lionel Shrike? Now, the definition in the movie is that he was a magician who supposedly drowned in trying to do a stunt like the great Houdini, getting locked up in a safe and thrown into the river. But the son of Lionel Shrike is seeking revenge on all those who allowed for things to go wrong with Shrike's life. In other words, all the faults and errors and sins against his father. But he's been in an undercover position as an FBI agent. But he's going to be revealed as the fifth horseman in the movie. In other words, the individual who has created all these hoaxes and lies. So I want to uh, explore the idea of taking a name and uncovering the meaning of the name, hence the meaning of the movie and its hidden meaning. In other words, in the movie he was a magician who died, supposedly died, doing a trick. But, if you look closely at the name, it gives you more information. So just looking at it without doing any research, Lionel, lie, they're liars, and then you see L at the end of it, and L is for God. So they're liars, they think they're gods, and they do offensive things against Almighty God. Alright? Now let's uncover the etymology, the origin of the word Lionel. So as you can see, the origin or the meaning of the name Lionel comes from Latin and it means little lion, a small and mighty being that will grow to be proud and fearless, a wild creature 
a lion. A little lion. Now you do realize that the enemy of the believer is portrayed in 1 Peter as a lion who roams the earth seeking whom he will devour. As it has been brought out clearly by some good expositors, the devil's not in hell. The devil's roaming the earth and wants to devour people. In other words, he wants to take away a true faith from their life and put them on the path to hell with him in eternal damnation and punishment. So the so-called mystery person in this movie, Lionel Shrike, represents the devil and those who worship or love the devil. So let's go into the next etymology of Shrike. What is Shrike all about? I thought I would get nothing on this, but boy was I surprised. Okay. Now there's a bird called Shrike, and it gets its name <laughs> as a butcher bird. Okay. Because it will take its prey and impale them on something really sharp and then devour it. Okay, so they're talking a little bit about birds and the type of bird that devours its insects by impaling them. Now, if you want to go another step further, you can take this into mythology. And in mythology, there is a shrike. A very powerful uh, spiritual entity in mythology. Okay, so now what's going to happen for those of you who are sort of interested in the movie itself, and never mind all this other stuff I'm trying to do, <laughs> um, what you're going to find out is that, and now you see me too, Lionel Shrike really never died. Now I haven't seen this movie yet. If you've seen it, let me know. But he was trying to teach his, his son a lesson about magic, I guess. So, Lionel Shrike lives. Now back to the scene in... Central Park with the tree. I'm not going to show the clip, but they will put their secret cards together and it will make a light and an eye and then they will be inducted into this cult called the eye, which, which is basically a mystery cult and they will get a high level position in the mystery cult. So there are levels of positions in mystery cults and there are levels of degrees in masonry and uh, the lower level individuals don't know as much as the higher level but eventually when they get to the 32nd degree that is when they learn that Lucifer is behind it all. 
Now, many are taught that there's a 33rd degree, and then that's it. However, I heard there's actually more degrees, and the higher up you go, the more involvement you get in the worship of the devil. But I wanted to point out to you that this plaque and this sort of welcome syrup, or this welcome into the club or welcome into the cult occurs around a tree. And if you know your Bible, you know that there were two trees in the Garden of Eden, the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And Adam and Eve were forbidden to take of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And that is pretty much what is represented in this movie, that anybody involved in these secret organizations or these mystery cults, or anybody that practices occult practices, they are participants in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Thus, they are under the condemnation and the wrath of Almighty God. And it's nothing to fool with. Anybody who's listening to this video that fools around a little bit with occult practices, there's nothing to fool with because the devil wants to entrap you. Now the good news of the gospel is that Jesus Christ came as a liberator, came as a deliverer. The Bible tells us there was a deliverer that came out of Zion and that deliverer is none other than the Lord Jesus Christ. So you can be free if you participated in any of these activities they have to do with the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Instead of the name of Lionel Shrike, let me put another name in front of you, and that's the name of Jesus. There's no other name given under heaven by which men must be saved except the name of Jesus. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and I'll try to do a few more on this movie, which I found very interesting. And I'm going to try to do it without showing the clips so that the videos will not be blocked. Thank you for watching, and please, if you've watched this, and you can, please just leave me a comment, because your comments inspire me to continue to make videos. And I need to know that you're more than just watching it, that you've done a little bit more, you've processed something, and just a simple comment goes a long way with me. Thank you much, end of video.